So, we all have regrets. Some of us have impregnated less than ideal people. Others have made bad financial decisions. Me? I chose to invest in the wrong system with a tiny sensor and no hope for the future. Panasonic, your sensor is the same size of a baby duck. Why do you do it? You do it. Welcome back. I have lighting from my laptop. It's always the most flattering, the fluorescent lighting. If you ever want to look as beautiful as possible, you get the raccoon eyeshadows. That's how I do it. So all I wanted to do was upgrade from the Canon G7X and get myself a blurry little background. So I did some research and I had a couple options. I've researched for months on this and it was either the, the Panasonic J85, which I got, which you're watching right now, or the Canon 80D, better autofocus, but you couldn't handhold it, no in-body stabilization. Or the Sony A7S II. A7 III wasn't out yet. And full frame goodness. Expensive though. And no flippy screen. Piece of shit. So I made the obvious choice. I think it was the good choice at the time. I was like, okay. Panasonic has this Mitocon 25mm f0.95 lens that you're witnessing right now. You are in denial about what is back there right now. You have no idea if that's a jail cell, if that's a tunnel leading off or just a light reflection. It's so blurry that you're disoriented and you love it. You just focus on me and that'll bring you back to reality, won't it? I was absolutely obsessed with getting the blurry background. That's all I thought about. It's like, well, this one will be slightly blurrier, f0.95, so that's an f1.9 equivalent on the full frame. That's pretty much there. 1.8 is what I would have bought with the nifty 50 cheap lens. I was like, we're right there, and this has the flippy screen. I think this is equivalent to a full frame. The Canon 80D couldn't do it, and I was planning on doing handheld vlogs, and so I was thinking, 25 mil can you vlog with a 25 millimeter lens? So I tried it in the store and I was like, no, you can't. Because it's just this. Hey. Okay? But I was determined to make it work. And so I just researched, okay, this tripod, not long enough. That's not doing it. Even fully extended. Like that. Not long enough. You can't even tell the camera's not pointed at me. Yes, you can. So I'm measuring this thing. I forget the measurements, but I was like, okay, 13 inches, and I'm researching. What's a longer tripod, mini one? So I found this tripod, the Siri something, and it didn't have the measurements on the site that I needed. You can extend the legs out a bit. It's a Chinese site, everything's in Chinese, and the the legs extend out, and I knew if I could hold those extended legs and get out, that might just give me a couple inches, and you can actually get my whole head in the shot, unlike right now. So after learning Chinese, I determined that it was a 16-incher, and we had a couple inches on this, and I was like, that might just be enough. It'll be just enough for this, and then we're good. Now what I didn't realize was this is hard to do. That's not easy to hold your arms straight out for the whole time. I can talk for about 30 seconds and then we switch arms. This is such a creative shot with the camera blurry in the foreground. Oh my god, artistic masterpiece. I'm not in folk. So I pulled the trigger on this system and I got what I wanted. I was like, okay, it's a manual focus lens. That, that can't be too hard. It's a pain in the bitch. It's a pain in the bitch. I can reach it from here. Okay, we can focus here. But if I got to go back there, I even made a video on how I do this. But if I go back, then I got to double tap to magnify. And then like, 
adjust it and then go sit back and see is my eye peeking like I know I'm only in focus like right here and right here I'm not and right there I'm not so it's like I gotta micro adjust go back micro adjust glad I thought that through that's fun I am losing motivation I'm losing motivation to even use this piece of shit due to the usability is a pain in the ass that manual focus I want a wider lens with a somewhat blurry background that could just autofocus on me with a little shotgun mic so it's closer I don't have to be tethered I'm tethered I'm tethered I'm like a baby tethered to his mom at Disney World I won't get lost, ma. So while yes, you can get a pretty much full frame equivalent background look with the Micro Four Thirds system, it's a pain in the ass to do, first of all. It's a pain in the ass to focus on yourself with that. Without the autofocus, that sucks. At f0.95, what we're doing right now, it's not the sharpest, and the colors aren't that great either. I didn't realize that lenses make different colors happen who would have known that so I just like oh f95 awesome cheaper than the Voigtlander even better let's not go with that it's light lighter than the Voigtlander but my god I made a mistake the problem is there's nothing even better there's nothing even better in order to upgrade I would want a full frame camera with amazing autofocus. That's pretty much, my needs have changed. That's the thing. I thought I'd be using this handheld more, then I got my little Sony action cam, and I use that, it's much easier. But I didn't realize the fun I could have with the wide angle lens. And now we're on this cropped in. This is more, I thought I would look better in a 50. I thought it crushed my face better, and I was better looking, and I would look healthier. That's why I got this to look as beautiful as I possibly could. Now I got shadows like a wreck. So who's gonna make the camera that I need? Full frame, flip a screen. 6D with a better job. 6D, but you're trying, actually. You're trying this time. Oh, the first world problems. They are brutal. Oh, just get another lens, you say? Oh yeah, that's an option. I didn't realize that Micro Four Thirds lenses costed $75,000 each. Why are they so expensive? They're tinier, they're smaller, they're more expensive. Their apertures aren't as bright, so we're losing the one advantage we have with this lens. We can't blur out anything with those other lenses. That was so creative. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Dogs ruined. And even if I did find a better lens, the autofocus on this camera is a joke. But it would be so much easier to hook it up to my smartphone and then just tap on my face and be done with it. But we can't. We can't do it. So we're waiting. We're waiting. What's gonna happen? Who's gonna do it? Nobody. Nobody's gonna do it. Canon mirrorless full frame it's gonna suck the first one they're gonna hold back something Canon would cripple their own stepchild if they could Nikon's just gonna make a little d850 with a flip up screen that doesn't do shit in my life Sony a7s 3 that's not gonna have a flip out screen they're just gonna keep it the same oh we got to keep that line the same so it'll fit the cage you're a cage I'll put you in a hamster cage so that's where you belong our only hope is actually the Sony A6700, should it be called that. And they finally put a flip out screen. I would consider it. I would consider that. They got their 10 to 18 F4 lens. I could dig that for the vlogs. Good autofocus, you can see yourself, okay. Okay, I see you. And they also got that Sigma 16 1.4. That for this type of look, I think it would look similar, if not even better. Are we still at F? 
1.4? 95? We're at 95. Do you want to see 1.4? I get uglier. Oh, that just makes me uglier. All right, we'll stop that. So it's kind of funny, you get invested. I'm not that invested in this system. And we do have a little wide angle converter thing coming. So we'll test it. That could change our minds forever. Because if we could put this camera a little closer and it'd be even wider and I could reach it with the focus, I could do that. I could handle that. So we'll see, that might save it. But as of right now, I'm not that invested in. I, I feel for people who are like, they have four or five expensive lenses and then a new camera system is announced from another company and they're like, oh my God, what do I do? Sell all this stuff and lose all the money on each lens? So we're debating, but I do want to abandon this Micro Four Thirds system badly. I will consider APS-C if Sony A67 does something right. But I just have full frame envy. My battery's flashing. I wouldn't know that unless I had a flip out screen, would I? This is so handy to know that. So please somebody just come out with a full frame flippy screen. Just do it. We need you. I've heard so many people complaining about the no flippy screen and we're not doing it. What's wrong with us? I hate that. So I think we're done. We're done here. What are your thoughts? Is Micro Four Thirds enough for a video? Should I have went APS-C? Canon or Sony on the APS-C, oh my God. Full frame, is it necessary? <laughs> you can boggle the mind all day long. And I have. So we're done. Thanks for watching. Links for all this amazing gear in the description down below. I'll make 40 cents. That's my business. It's not very successful. I'm going to leave now. Subscribe though for more videos. And I'll see you in the next one.